Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence.com. Today we're taking a look at, today we're taking a look at this ink. This is Monteverde's Horizon Blue, and this is one of my favorite blues at the moment. Uh, it's one that I, I used a lot for a long time, and I totally forgot about it, and then I've come back, and uh, I love this blue. This says it has ITF technology on the back of the box. They tell you that ITF technology is an ink treatment formula that gives you... Um, uh, drastically improves ink flow quality, extends cap off time, and lubricates and protects the ink feeding systems from corrosion and clogging. Uh, and I think that's true. I I don't know what the ITF ink uh, ink technology ink treatment formula is. I don't know what that is, but um, I can tell you that with this color and um, actually most of the Monteverde inks, I've never had a problem with them stopping up in my pen, with them um, you know hesitating on writing. Uh, those kinds of things. This is the big bottle. This is a 90 mil bottle. It also comes in the little 30 mil bottle and it does come in cartridges which I don't have any of because I don't really use cartridges very often. Uh, the small bottles are about eight bucks. These are between 13 and 15 for the 90 mil. So uh, the 90 mil, once you find a color that uh, you really like, man go for the big one because why not? It's, uh, it's a much more efficient pricing. All right, let's put this guy away and look at this color. And here it is. Monteverde Horizon Blue is a really beautiful pure blue. There's nothing here leaning blurple. There is nothing here leaning green. It's This is a blue blue. You will get some shading and sheen on this ink. Not a ton of either. Um, you find some sheen and shading here on Rhodia. This is my regular 80 grams per square meter stuff. And uh, it's a fairly wet ink. And you'll get a little bit of shading and sheen here. Not really all that much. You don't really get it on uh, on most papers. It's fairly saturated. Uh, I do get some minor bleed and feather on the 20 pound paper, as we'll see here in just a sec. In fact, let's go ahead and look at that now. That is this line right here. You can see a little bit of, there's a couple of feathers like here and a couple like little places here, but not much at all. And then you get a little bit of bleed through on the back. But this is 30% um, recycled 20 pound copy paper from Staples. And uh, it's not great, right? This is what your office gets because it's the cheapest thing around. Uh, the pen I've been using is this one. This is a Montegrappa Fortuna Mini Copper Mule. I just actually reviewed this on the channel. Check out my reviews to see this one. And it has a medium nib on it. It's a pretty regular medium nib, I think. Uh, and this ink is fairly wet, so it's been a very nice combo for me. I like a nice, wet, saturated ink and a good, smooth nib. And this is really uh, fitting the bill for me right now. Uh, and it's an ink that I keep forgetting about, and then when I come back to it, I'm like, oh, where have you been, right? So, comments. Pretty short comments, actually. Just one of my favorite pure blue inks. I said that. Uh, shading, sheen, worth noting. Oh, haha. <laughs> this looks like a lot of these inks that are kind of legendary, like this um, uh, Parker Penman Sapphire. Everybody's on the hunt for Parker Penman Sapphire, and bottles of that thing go for like 100 bucks a bottle. Um, I think that for 18 bucks. I'll get Monteverde's Horizon Blue instead, thanks. Uh, also, you can get this in cartridges. I didn't say the cartridge price, but six bucks for, for a pack of cartridges seems pretty common online. Uh, this is one that I bought. I bought this from, according to my card, the Pin Chalet, um, where I think it was on sale or, I don't know, I got several bottle, like big bottles of this. So, or not this one, but several different big bottles of ink. Uh, and on here on this card, actually, you can see more sheen in this area, especially. Uh, but I bought this from Pen Chalet, so go to your favorite Monteverde retailer. They're all over the place, and find yourself some Monteverde Horizon Blue. All right, let's look at how it performs on a couple of other kinds of paper, and then check out a bunch of uh, a writing sample and a bunch of comparisons. So this is an Inky Fingers notebook, uh, currently inked, and it's like falling apart a little bit, but I've been using this for two years. <laughs> My first one's from 2017. Uh, it's always fun to look back through your your currently inked book and like see you know see what you've been using over the years. These are ones that I just I guess I never oh hey I've got this in something now. Anyway I'll have to do Purple Rock again soon. All right uh, where is it? There it is. There's the Monteverde medium uh, nib. Uh, goodness Montegrappa medium nib with Monteverde Horizon Blue and I think it looks beautiful on here. I mean you compare that to something like a lot of people like Conpecky, uh, which is a nice sort of light blue. Man, for these two blues, like, there's not a... I'm going for this one every time. Just this one, I don't know, leaves me a little bit cold. It's just sort of... It's, when you put them next to each other, for me, it's kind of unimpressive. Colorverse Cat is also beautiful. It's in the very same sort of color family, but this one's all 
shimmery and sparkly. All right, so there it is on this uh, wheat straw paper. You can find these on the interwebs. Uh, just Google up uh, Inky Fingers notebooks or look in the link in the description. Uh, here is an ink journal. This is Tomoe River and the horizon blue line is right here where it also looks beautiful i think this ink actually looks really good on whatever you put it on basically i haven't found a paper where this ink isn't good so you know check that out all right let's uh do a water test and then look at our sort of uh our comparison samples here let's see get some water on this action Burp. this little plastic pipette thing that's worth like 10 cents or something has been so reliable for me for these water tests man so reliable all right get that kind of a shake and a shimmy oh, oh no <laughs> i shimmied too hard i shimmied too hard <laughs> let's wipe that up <laughs> well it's still readable Good amount of it came up, but still readable. I'm not going to say this is really water resistant in any way. I mean, there's a skosh left over, but it's not great. I mean, here, like, I could recover this work, but if I left it on there longer or if I wiped it away instead of blotting, always blot, never smear. Um, yeah, it's not great. So not water resistant, really. So if you're looking for a water resistant ink, don't get this one. <laughs> Here's what the chromatography looks like on this one. And you can see here just nothing but blue also nothing left behind here really at the at the line where the ink started so yeah i wasn't really expecting any water existence at all this is just a just a pure blue it's this color that's the color that's in this ink so pretty cool there all right let's look at a bunch of comparisons here is Monteverde's Horizon Blue. This is on a coloring card, uh, and you can find these at uh, wellappointeddesk.com uh, or lots of other stores. This is a Colodex card. Same paper, just made to fit in a Rolodex. I love these things. I'm really switching over to these. And this is the Parker Pinman Sapphire. This was um, uh, given to me as a sample by uh, George at San Francisco last year. And you can see that these two are very similar colors. Uh, each of them has some uh, some shading. They've got some sheen. They're in the right kind of color area. I think Horizon Blue is maybe a little bit... Um, that's going to sound weird. Maybe a little bluer? I don't know. It's slightly lighter, perhaps, than Parker Pym and Sapphire. But this is a much older ink. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. The other one that's pretty close to these is uh, Straits Pen's Honest ink. Uh, poor Man's Sapphire, which is meant to be a lot like Parker Penman. And I'm not sure... Uh, this is a sample given to me by my friend Kimberly. I'm getting uh, samples from friends, and that's always great. So thanks, Kimberly and George. Uh, and also, both these are Californians with these blues. So, um, yeah, pretty close. I, I actually, I'll probably get a bottle of this stuff. I need to try it out in a pen. I've actually not put it in a pen yet. I need to do so. But uh, these are pretty close. These are, of course, way more exp way uh, way more economical than Parker Pym and Sapphire at this point and easier to find. So I'd go with one of these two. All right. Um, here is Lyrebird Blue from Krishna Inks, which I just did not too long ago. And you can see that this one tends to lean, when compared to this pure blue, it leans a little bit on the purple side. Kind of like, um, uh, I mean, lots of, lots of blues end up leaning a little bit purple, and we don't really think about it too much. Here's Monteverde's DC Pin Show Blue from last year, which is a really good blue as well. Uh, it's a good bit darker, however, than Horizon Blue. A little bit of sheen on all of these. All right. Um, here's one. Oh man, every time I look at this swatch, I'm like, I gotta use this ink. This is Colorverse Supernova from my friend Sandra. Gorgeous, way more sheen it appears. And then here is Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue. I got this from this one from Anderson Pens a while back. Definitely have reviewed that one, so check that out as well. Um, I think the flow is better on Horizon Blue than Barrier Reef Blue. But, uh, I mean, they're both very nice. This one, of course, much more sheeny. So if you want more sheen in your ink, go for Barrier Reef, perhaps. Or this color verse. Holy crap, beautiful. All right. Uh, next up, KWZ's Hawaii Blue, which is a great blue. It tends to lean a little bit more green. Perhaps you can see down in here it's looking a little greener. Uh, also a bit more sheen, I think. Uh, but great ink. This is exclusive to Hippo Noto. I bought it from her last year. And then uh, Robert Oster's School Blue, which I reviewed a long time ago, actually. 2016 is so like three years ago, probably. Got this one from Anderson Pins as well. And Robert Oster's School Blue is actually the first Robert Oster that I tried. And I was like, yes, this is going to be good. 
Uh, but this is also more of a greeny blue than Horizon Blue, and I think really my taste has shifted over to pure, full-on blue. So there we go. Okay, so this has been Monteverde's Horizon Blue. Definitely check this out wherever you get Monteverde inks, and uh, I will uh, I will see y'all later on. Peace out.